Skeleton called the doctor on the phone, said, Doc, I think I got a broken bone. The doc said, hmm, since I'm not there to see, you're gonna have to say which one it is to me. The skeleton said, I don't know the bone's name. And the doc said, that's fine, let's play a guessing game. Now about that broken bone of yours, if it's in the leg, it could be the tibia, fibula, femur, patella, or tarsals, or the metatarsals or my favorite, the phalanges. The skeleton said, I don't think it's any of those, sir. But Doc, if you could, would you list some more bones up for me? Maybe it's in the arm. Could be the scapula, clavicle, humerus, pectoral girdle or the radius ulna, or maybe it's inside your hand, where there's carpals and metacarpals, and there's also phalanges. Now I see you're beginning to understand, for the spine has cervical, thoracic, and lumbar vertebrae. It also has the sacrum now onto the chest. There's a sternum, and also there's 12 pairs of beautiful ribs there. But I think the bones of the head are just simply the best. Your skull is composed of eight cranial bones and the face bones, like the nasal bones, maxillae, mandible, vomer, and ear. It's true, each ear even has three tiny bones in it. And without the lacrimal bone, you would shed no more tears. The skeleton just stood with its mandible open. And the doc said, well, my friend, which one could it be? The skeleton said, actually, nothing is broken. Thank you so much for explaining it so well to me. <laughs>